live from Arizona, Tommy Baker Fitness. And what do I got for you? This is number 28 on the Daily Hustle. And today is about triggers. So I, you can't get up in the morning. Here's, here's your issue. This is what the video is about. I get this all the time. Tommy, I can't force myself to get up in the morning to train my fitness. I can't even do it twice a week. I can't even do it once a week. What's my issue? And all I'm going to tell you is that you have to find something that works for you. So maybe the morning is not for you. I recommend morning for 99% of people, but there are people out there whose, whose morning just does not work for them, right? So you have to, one, find a, a time and space that works for you. If you're like a surgeon and you have to be somewhere at a certain time or a nurse, then maybe the morning is just not going to work for you, and that's fine, but find a place where it's going to work for you. And number two, it's create triggers and behavioral patterns that allow you to move forward. And these are called high return practices. So let's find three things based on where you are today in fitness that I could deem as a high return practice. If you're very simple, if you're just coming off the couch, it's gonna be hydration, number one. Two, it's gonna be three times a week of movement. Literally, it could be a walk. Uh, keep it in the context of coming off the couch, right? And, uh, and number three would be one healthy meal a day. Like that's all I would start someone on. And then they eat, they eat however they want the rest of the day. You give me one quote unquote healthy meal, I define what a healthy meal looks like and then we get started. Those I consider high return practices. Why? Because the, 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 the buy-in, the investment isn't that large, but the change in behavior and results is massive. That's a little thing called leverage that a lot of the people in hedge funds and the financial markets uh, use. And then number three, I would create behavioral, behavioral triggers. So I had a guy saying, Tommy, I can't, force myself to get up like once I get up I just want to click the alarm and all that here's how you fix that technology you put your phone on the other side of the room you will get one of those alarms that you have to like rock out and do some crazy dance with your phone to turn it off you know what I'm talking about <coughs> or even just shake it like crazy and then guess what you put on your way to the phone on the floor you got your gym shoes you got your gym outfit you got your shirt you got a water bottle ready to go and guess what now you're up you had to do some physical movement to turn the damn phone off, and then your clothes are right there. You got no excuses. It is game time, and you're gonna get your started with fitness. So these are three things you can implement today, and uh, just make it happen. Make it happen. It's, the triggers are so important. Few people wake up and are on fire with every part of their life. I'm in fitness. I teach fitness. Fitness is something I pursue mastery in, and I still need triggers. I still need these small things, right? Professional athletes don't wake up wanting to train every day, but they do it anyways because they're committed to it. And when you're committed to something, you do, you take action regardless of how you feel. We got helicopters, that's my cue to get out. Guys, if you enjoyed this, subscribe at www.tommybakerfitness.com. It's my premium newsletter, it's free, but it's premium in terms of uh, the kind of uh, motivation. I'll email them probably three times a week and just give you the kick in your ass you need and the practical steps to get results. Have a badass day.